What up, 2A? It's another core math lesson today. Today we're going, to go, going over Module 4, Lesson 18, with yours truly, Mr. Andrews, working from home once again. All right, and today it happens to be April 30th, 2020, last day of April, and it also happens to be National Mr. Potato Head Day. Fun fact about Mr. Potato Head, though I'm sure you're familiar with the toy, when it was first introduced many, many years ago, they expect you to have your own potato and then just stick a bunch of pieces in there. Ah! Yeah, that's kind of creepy. I don't know if I would have wanted to play with that. Well, as an incentive to today's lesson, let's see if we can work together through participation and answering questions. We can build our own Mr. Potato Head, virtually, of course. All right, let's get started today, guys. Our target, is, as it has been this week, is to understand place value to add and subtract and use a strategy that makes sense to us. So let's review. How do you know when to regroup? I know I've asked this before, but it's really important. All right, so I heard one thing. I heard you mentioned addition, right? When, at, when you're adding, if there's more than one in a place value, it, there's more than nine ones or more than nine tenths, then know you, you know you need to regroup and add one to the next place value. Nice job. Uh, that's where the potato head smile. Let me see your biggest smile. Don't get too cheesy on us now. But what about subtracting? When do you know, when do you regroup when subtracting? Yeah, exactly. When there is enough to subtract from a place value. I can't take five away from three, right? If I have three fingers up, I can't take five fingers, right? No. So you have to move over from the tenth place. Nice job, guys. I think that's um, definitely earned you a little mustache. And how are you going to hold that mustache up if you don't have Mr. Potato Nose? All right. So let's practice today. All right. Keeping in mind about regrouping for today, let's go through a problem together. All right, so it says 76 plus 48 equals blank. Hmm. All right. So, again, we always want to use a strategy that works best for us. So today I'm going to use, eh, I like flat six nuts. Again, I like to visually see it. So what do I need to do first? Yeah, you got it, guys. You got to set up that HTO chart. All right, so just like I've done before, H T and like I keep saying guys rep, uh, annotate your numbers so T O T O all right so I know that there's seven tens and six ones and 76 I know there's four tens and eight ones and 48 all right so we're adding together so let's go ahead and represent now when adding I always like to start with the bigger number so let's go ahead and represent 76. So like I said, seven tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're adding together. So now I know I need to now represent, add in 48. So how many tens? Yep, four tens, you got it. One, two, three, four. And how many ones? Yep, eight ones. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So I've represented both numbers. So we're ready to add them up together, right? Okay, so which place value do I start in? You got it. Always starting in the ones place. So let's count up my ones. You can count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Oh, I have 14 ones. So what do I have to do if I have 14 ones? Yeah, exactly. We've got to regroup. All right. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to cross out 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I'm going to draw my arrow and add a 10 
to the tens place. All right, so that leaves me with one, two, three, four in the ones place. All right, so let's now move over to the tens place and add them up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Don't forget that loud, that new one, twelve. All right, I've got twelve tens. So what do I have to do this time? Exactly, regroup again. All right, so same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Draw an arrow, and now I'm going to represent a new flat. All right, so that leaves me, let's see, a two tens left over. And how many do I have in the hunch's place now? Yeah, exactly. I have one in the hunch's place. All right, so 76 plus 48 equals. Yeah, you guys got it. 100. 24. Nice job. All right, let's do one more. Does Evelyn earn some money? So now I'm Mr. Potato Head. Can check out and see all of your hard work. All right, next one. All right, so it says 55 plus 67 equals better. All right. Now, again, we got to be flexible thinkers here, guys. So I think I'm going to represent with expanded form. So 55, how would I represent 55 in expanded form? You got it, 50 plus five, nice. And 67? Yeah, exactly, 60 plus seven, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and add them together. All right, so five plus seven. Well, I know five plus five is 10, so five plus seven, that's 12. Can we have 12 in the ones place? No, we can't. So, I'll cross out 12, I'm gonna leave two, and I'm gonna add the 10 up above into the tens place. All right, so then 10 plus five, uh, 10 plus 50, excuse me. 10 plus 50, I know is 60, because 10 more than 50, you count by tens. So 60 plus 60, well, I know six plus six is 12, so, 60 plus 60 would be 120. 120? Well, that doesn't seem to right. That's not usually what we would see in the tens place. So again, we can regroup. All right, it's important that we regroup. All right, now some of you would say, but Mr. Andrews, I can just leave it as a 120. Yeah, you can, but it's important that you can still see how the numbers are broken up. Again, got to be flexible thinkers. So, that would add 100 up here, and then we bring it down. So 100 plus 20 plus 2. All right, so 55 plus 67 equals 122. You guys got it. All right, so one thing I noticed about both these problems, even though I represented differently, I solved using sticks and dots and then solved with expanded form, both problems involved regrouping more than once. So that's gonna be important that you notice that today. Do I need to regroup more than once? All right, you guys have definitely earned some ears on our Mr. Pitcher head, nice job. He's starting to look pretty good, all right, yeah. All right, so let's recap. Great mathematicians use our understanding of place value to add and subtract using a strategy that makes sense to us. For today's work, make sure you pick a strategy that makes sense and show your work. I just demonstrated. I can use more than one strategy, but make sure you're picking one that makes sense to you. Regroup when needed, starting in one place. As you saw today, you may need to regroup more than once. And finally, submit your work in standard form in the answer box. Oh, you guys have been really paying attention. I think it's time that you should flex your muscles like Mr. Potato Head here, except maybe flex the biggest muscle you have up here, okay? So thank you once again for tuning in to my math videos. I know they can be a little corny, but I'm doing my best to make sure that they're fun. Um, Mr. Potato Head looks pretty good. Maybe we just throw a little add on him too. You know, I don't know if he looks any less creepy than the original Mr. Potato Head, but I'll let you guys decide that. Thanks again for tuning in and you'll see me tomorrow.